Oh well. Well, it's the first few hours of 2019. Most people are in bed with headaches. Beautiful day here in California. No more rain. Looks like summer's here, which is just an optical conclusion. It's not really here. It just feels like it's here. Even though it says 44 on the thermometer, it feels like the 60s, really. The air has been so dry here in California for a good week and a half now. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about what so many of the other bloggers around the internet are talking about. The disappearance of the insects around the world. So, it almost looks like the camera's dead. I'm very dark in the picture. Wow, something's going on. Hmm. So, um, there have been two, uh, there's been multiple studies on insect decline over the past several years. I'll just go over two of them. Let's talk about this, the Denmark study. Uh, they found that flying insects numbers are down by 75% over 27 years in Denmark. There were many contributors to this. Habitat disappearing, uh, pesticide use, herbicide use, chemical pollution in the air and the atmosphere. A Germany study found 80% decline in just 24 years. So, the reason that the insects are so important to the world is because there are several species that absolutely need insects to survive. What uh, kind of animals are those? Well, that's fish, birds, lizards, and other bugs that eat bugs to survive. That's just a short list. There are many, many, many animals that rely on bugs for food. So, here's the problem. Many of the, uh, those actual fish, birds, and lizards are actually in decline about the same rate as the decline of the insects. In Europe, birds that solely eat insects for survival and food are down in Europe by 50%. And some birds around the world and Europe are down by 90%, such as the, the Puerto Rican, 90% decline. The turtle dove is down by 80%. There was another study here in the U.S. that found that landscapes all over the world need at least 70% of the native plants that grew there before humans arrived to be healthy and to bring the species back up to life. I don't think that's going to happen. Even though I have said many times, move to indoor growing and then you can take the farmland that you have now and turn it back into wild so that the insect and the wild buffalo and all those animals that used to be there can return. People love to see animals in the wild. I don't know what's going on with this camera. Oh, well, what do you expect for New Year's? It's a really good camera. I hope it doesn't die on me. It's uh, very old, an old G3X by Canon, and it's got hundreds of videos on it. Many, many thousands of on and offs, zooming in and out. Things just keep going if they're a Canon. I've had others that die pretty quickly when it goes to pink bar. So, I definitely do appreciate the bird just smacked into a tree. There are some birds, there's two of them now. So, um, the last comments in the last video were good. I actually commented on a couple, or one at least, and it did go on. So the comments for this time seem to be working. So go ahead, leave a comment. Or oh, something going on up there. The deep woods of San Francisco, you have to beware. You never know who's in there. <laughs> so I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. And definitely until next time.